This is a five-day trip, starting in Comox, fueling up in Chilliwack, then proceeding to Oliver for our first overnight stay, Nelson for the next night stay, Fairmont Hot Springs for the next night, going through Rogers Pass and staying in Vernon for another night, with a short trip to Penticton and then back to Vernon, and then back home again. The weather was absolutely perfect for flying, and Richard and I took way too many pictures. Here are a few pictures of our trip. It doesn't take long to go anywhere in our aircraft. Usually an hour gets us to the next city. This trip was in early May, and the mornings were cool and great for climbing up to altitude to get to the next city. We didn't have any trouble finding hotels, and the prices were quite reasonable as well. We found the airports to be well maintained, and it was a pleasure to be greeted by two lovely ladies in the Vernon Airport. The flight down to Penticton was a bit on the hot side, but it was great to get out on our bikes and ride along the canal and into town. In any event, the video starts with us flying down the west coast of BC and approaching Chilliwack for some fuel. Chilliwack is right before we enter the mountainous area and I want to make sure that I have full fuel in case we hit some headwinds. It's always good to be flying on the first half of the tank instead of the bottom half. It doesn't take long before we're all fueled up and ready to go again. It's a beautiful morning and I'll be flying under the Vancouver Terminal airspace and then making my final climb to 7,500 feet. We'll be coming upon Hope Grass Airfield and the summit of the Coquihalla. There I'll turn east towards Princeton and fly that way.
we made it to Oliver and checked out the Red Clubhouse, which was very nice, and then proceeded to ride our bikes up to the Riverstone Winery for a wine tasting session. The wines were great, and I ended up buying a case of wine. We then went riding along the trails all around the city. They were very nice as they followed the, the river. It was a great time riding. We depart Oliver at 9 o'clock. It's quiet, very quiet in the vicinity. The air is nice and cool, and our planes are once again climbing with good performance. We're off to Nelson, BC. It's an hour away. We'll be climbing to 7,500 feet and proceeding in an easterly direction along the U.S.-Canada border. The valley with Highway 3 in it is about 2,200 feet, but the rolling hills are about 6,000 to 6,800 feet. So that's why I'm flying at 7,500 feet going east. I'll soon depart from Highway 3 and follow the uh, power lines and then swing north, northeast to go up to trail.
Nelson is a tight airport. I've been descending all the way from Castlegar into the Nelson area. I've practiced this routine several times in my Microsoft Flight Simulator. And here I'm flying over the city, going to fly midfield to look at the windsock to see which runway I will be landing on. It turns out that I'm landing on 04. That's my favorite approach based on the Microsoft Flight Simulator practice I did. So from this point on, I'm flying exactly the routine that I practiced in the flight simulator to see how it turns out. I'll let you be the judge of that. We arrived in Nelson around 10 a.m. Both of us have smiles on our face. The weather's been absolutely perfect, so we secured the planes and rode our bikes up to the Hume Hotel and checked in. The hotel's been completely restored and it's beautiful inside. Of course we're hungry, so we head downstairs to the pub, which served some very good food. We're done flying for the day. So we've decided to treat ourselves to a beer. We've decided to explore the town on foot. The town has lots of nice murals in it and very interesting walking paths and parks to hike up to. You got a lot of exercise walking around town and I'll leave you to the rest of this slideshow. It's only a minute long. The next morning we had a great breakfast at the Hume Hotel and headed back to the airport to fuel up the planes for departure to uh, Fairmont Hot Springs, our next destination at the base of the Rocky Mountains. Unfortunately, that's another video. As the flight gets very interesting from this point to Fairmont and then through the Rogers Pass to Vernon. <music> 